Hello everybody, this is emeek 77 and we're going to continue on with our basic modeling courses in Cheetah 3D. So let me fire up Cheetah. And we're going to start with our basic blank screen. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to create a spline. So I'm going to go up to Tools, Spline, Create Spline. And this will allow me to create a new spline. Now I'm going to go to my front view. And we're going to make a glass. Something simple, something easy. And now that we're in our create spline mode, I'm going to go ahead in here and start clicking. As you can see, it starts with the yellow, and the red is the end. The yellow part of the line is the beginning of the curve, and the red part of the line is the end of the curve. Double click to quit. Now I'm going to zoom in on this. I'm going to come over here and double click my spline to make it editable. And now of course we can go in here and select our points and adjust them. Of course I could sit here and I could fiddle with this all day long, but considering this is going to supposed to be a fast, easy tutorial, I'm not going to sit and tweak with it too much. Good enough. So now what I'm going to do is, is I want to enter my tweak mode too, because it makes things a lot easier to adjust. This is a little thick for my taste down here. Might need to close it up a little. Like so. Let's bring this one up. And we'll just do them all this way. And just take them all up a tad here. Take this one. And this one. And we'll move them up. Okay. Okay. So now we have this basic shape. What are we going to do? Well, I'm going to go up to Selection and pick Area Select. And I'm going to draw a box around this point and this point down here, like this. And that's going to select my two outer points because I need to set the value for this points because I'm going to lay it around. Okay, we've got that. Go up to Tools, Set Value. I'm going to uncheck my set X and my set Y. Hit OK. That will apply it. Now we can go back to our camera view and we can see our little shape there. So I'm going to go up to my creator modifiers and select lathe. Now nothing will happen. So I'll drag the lathe or the spline and drag it and drop it on the lathe and boom. So now as you can see I have this basic glass. It's that simple to make a glass in Cheetah. Um, we could add a material, let's say a membrane and we'll go up here and we'll make it white like that and we'll make the take the power up and we'll of the transparency all the way up and we'll take the threshold to about 0.25 now this is about as good as the closest glass material you're gonna get with from within cheetah unless you go out and source your own you know material which is no problem but I'm just using what cheetah gives us Let's see here let me add a uh, skylight to the scene let me render it and there we have our little shadow here as you can see, now let's drag our membrane on top, as you can see there, and render again. Now it's a little, if you look on the edges there, let's zoom in. Like so. Let's select our material. Um...
Let's render. Now that we're a little closer. Now, as you can see, we got a little bit of a glass effect coming in here, which we need to tweak a little bit more, which is not a problem. I just wanted to give you the basic idea of what's going on here. But I, to be honest with you, I don't do any much of that inside of Cheetah. I usually go to Houdini for that stuff. And, um... Let's render again. I'm just tweaking, fiddling around here. Now, as you can see, we have a really, really um, glassy or almost ghost look to our render now that I've adjusted the threshold down to nothing. This is this is the basic. This is the closest you're going to get to glass and cheetah without burnt, sourcing your own material. But what I've done was I just exported this little glass as an OBJ, sent it to Houdini. And now, as you can see here, let me zoom in. That was a quick render here. If you zoom in here. Now, if I grab a quick render of this, you can see the glass texturing and stuff, and Houdini is just wow. You know, I mean, look at that. That looks like real glass. I mean, Houdini, I just, I can't get over it. If you can model in Houdini, the procedural modeling is just so powerful, you know? Um, so we're going to get into procedural modeling in Houdini. I'm just trying to cover the modeling in Cheetah first because it's the basic and most well-known way to model. It models like Maya and other applications. Houdini is unique, and you can pull off some really unique stuff in Houdini, and we'll get to that. But let's cover the basics of uh, the mass majority first, okay? So don't worry about modeling Houdini. We'll get there. That is an art all on its own, and it takes a little bit of different thinking process because it is procedural, and once you get your head wrapped around it, the tools in Houdini can be a little different, but man, it's so powerful. Really, the only reason I came into Houdini was to show you this great model I made in Cheetah, textured in Houdini, and look, we wound up with a wonderful-looking wine glass. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.